Well, let's do our tops and our chops of the movie, Latrice. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. What is, what's your favorite part of this movie? Your top. My top moment of the movie. Oh my God, there's so many. Jesus, how dare you? Okay. Um, <laughs> I know. It's like, okay, <laughs> when when Nagzima and Clara were connecting and she was chasing little Clara around the... <laughs> she, she was chasing her around. <laughs> you pulled a Yui on me. Uh, that Yoo-hoo! was really cute. I got your yeah. picture here. <laughs> that was my favorite moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my top is John Leguizamo's performance. Oh, God. Forget like, about John it. Like, John Leguizamo, so good. I love... His like Puerto Rican accent in the whole movie. So good. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, puta, I don't think so. <laughs> the one liners from John Leguizamo are hilarious and iconic. Uh, John Leguizamo killed it. Killed um, it. And I was I was so happy like when I moved to New York City and I found I met uh, Laritza Dumont and found out that Laritza was the person that worked with John Leguizamo and John Leguizamo credits her as the inspiration Princess for the, yeah yeah they even, the, he even was the reading the, the stories yeah. of yeah, Princess, Princess Laritza, Laritza. Which is <laughs> that's the that's the little shout out to the her. shout out she yeah. gets she gets featured a lot that's it. <laughs> <laughs> what about your chop? I'm chopping um, Vita's mama. Fuck oh. her. Fuck her. Bye. <laughs> Bye, bitch. Bye. Well, at the end of the movie, Vita like said, you know what? I'm going to go over to that Tudor imitation style house. I'm going to walk in there and I'm going to say, I don't need your acceptance. But I will, what does she say? I forget what she says, but she she's going to like, you know, she's going to like. She's going to tell her it. off, basically. She's going to basically go in there and like she is accepted who she is. She no longer uh, feels any kind of shame about that situation. And she's just going to live her life as she lives her life. No apologies. And I love that. I love it. My chop is this one scene where I just, I have no idea. I mean, it's just there for camp factor. But it's the brick house scene where they're driving in the car, voguing, and the people yes, are like, and not knowing which hey. way to go. Oh, the and train. The hang, on the train, <laughs> and the people are hanging outside of the train. And I'm like, what What the fuck is going on? Like, you know no one can hear the music. I mean, you're just kind of like, you have to kind of like just go with it. You know, go like, with obviously, the, the like, fantasy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, what? what is this scene? And they're like riding this like old 1940s like, you know, train. But they're all like, I don't know what the scene is about. It's a cute little scene, but... That's like the one thing I'm like, I have no idea what that, because it looks like a bunch of businessmen commuting, but like they're not right. in the city. So like, why are they commuting? <laughs> why are they in a train that looks like like it's a hundred years old? <laughs> <laughs> like one of those trains at Disney. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the old time railroad, girl. And they have like yeah. these old bald men, like with their like, uh, with their comb overs <laughs> flapping in the wind, like badly voguing outside <laughs> of the window. Like what? What is going on? <laughs> yeah, that's one of those moments you just got to go along for the ride, honey. For real. 